Welcome, brave souls, to another journey into the darkness. Prepare yourselves for a tale that will send shivers down your spine and haunt your dreams forever. I have prepared my most macabre terror story that I can think of to share with you, so brace yourselves for this story will make your blood run cold and your heart race with dread. The Darkest Secret of the Vatican The Vatican as one of the most secretive institution in the world, has long been the subject of conspiracies, theories, hidden truths, and mysteries. Some dark secrets associated with the Vatican are based on historical incidents, confidential documents, and controversial actions. Here are a few of the most frequently cited. The Vatican Secret Archives. The Vatican Secret Archives, renamed to the Apostolic Archives, contain a wealth of documents dating back centuries. Some speculate that they hold secrets such as evidence about the real origins of Christianity, records of heretical texts or information suspended by the church, sensitive information about political dealings between the church and the world's government. While these archives have been particularly open for research, much of their content remains restricted. Corruption and scandals over centuries, the Vatican has been involved in numerous financial and political scandals. Vatican Bank Scandal The Vatican Bank has been linked to money laundering, corruption, and mafia connections. The mysterious death of Roberto Calvi, found hanging under a bridge in London in 1982, is one of the most notorious unsolved mysteries related to the Vatican financial dealings. Sexual abuse scandals. The Catholic Church has faced numerous scandals related to the cover-up of clergy sexual abuse cases. The Vatican has been accused of protecting accused priests and obstruction of justice, particularly under past leaderships. The third secret of Fatima, the apparitions at Fatima in 1917 are central to Catholic lore, particularly because of the three secrets allegedly revealed to children by the Virgin Mary. The third secret was kept hidden for decades. When finally released in 2000, it was described as a vision of a bishop in white being killed. Many believe the full secret supposedly predicting apocalyptic events or major church corruptions was never fully disclosed. The role during World War II. The Vatican's role during World War II has been the subject of scrutiny. Pope Pius XII, who led the church during the war, has been criticized for not doing enough to condemn the Nazi regime and for maintaining a controversial position of neutrality. Some documents suggest the Vatican was aware of the Holocaust and did not take significant action, a topic of ongoing debate among historians. Exorcism and Hidden Rituals some claim that the Vatican is involved in secret exorcism and occult practices. While the Church officially recognizes exorcism as a real practice, conspiracy theorists suggest that more sinister rituals occur behind closed doors, far from public knowledge. These Vatican dark secrets range from documented historical controversies to speculative 
conspiracy theories. Many mysteries remain obscured by the historical secrecy of the institution. The Vatican's last secret. Father Marcus had served the Vatican faithfully for over 30 years. A scholar of ancient languages, his quiet life had been spent poring over crumbling manuscripts, decoding forgotten histories, and translating texts only a handful of people in the world could understand. He had never expected to stumble upon a secret so dark, so horrifying, that it would unreveal the fabric of his very soul. One cold November evening, as a storm raged outside, Marcus was summoned to the Apostolic Archives, a rare privilege granted only to the most trusted of scholars. Monsignor Binacci, a stern, unreadable figure, led him through the labyrinth of corridors beneath St. Peter's Basilica. The deeper they went, the more oppressive the air became, as though the very walls held the weight of millennia. Finally, they arrived at an ancient iron door. Its surface inscribed with symbols Marcus recognized from his studies, symbols of warning, of protection, yet they were not Christian. They were far older. The sight sent a shiver down his spine. Binacci turned to him, his face pale in the flickering torchlight. What you are about to see must never leave this room. Father Marcus, no one, no living soul must ever know. Marcus nodded, his heart pounding. As the door cracked open, a wave of cold air rushed out, carrying with it the scent of decay and dust. Inside was a small chamber, at its center a single ancient chest. It was locked with chains, and above it hung a crucifix, but this one was different. The figure nailed to the cross was twisted, almost grotesque, its face contoured in agony, far beyond the familiar image of Christ. What is this? Marcus whispered, feeling an overwhelming sense of dread. Binacci's voice was barely audible. This is the secret we have kept for over a thousand years. The church was built on a lie, Father, the greatest lie ever told. With trembling hands, Binacci unlocked the chest. Inside, wrapped in brittle parchment, was a manuscript unlike any Marcus had ever seen. The writing was in a language long thought inexistent, a language predating even the earliest records of human civilization. As he began to translate, the horror of its meaning became clear. The manuscript detailed a pact, a commitment not with God, but with something far darker. According to the text, in the earliest days of the church, a group of regarded priests had summoned an ancient entity, older than time itself. They had made a deal. Power influence and eternal dominance in exchange for sacrifices. These sacrifices were not of animals, nor even of human, but of faith. The entity fed on belief, on the devotion of millions. Every prayer, every act of worship gave it strength. The church had not been a beacon of hope, but a conduit for an unspeakable force slowly gaining power with each passing century, and it had been growing. Soon it would awaken. No, Marcus muttered, 
backing away from the chest. This can't be true. Minachi's eyes were hollow. We are all complicit. Every prayer, every mass, every baptism feeds it. The rituals we've practiced for centuries designed to bind humanity's soul to this thing. Marcus stumbled, his mind reeling. Why? Why keep this secret? Because if the truth got out, Binacci said, faith would crumble, and with it, the church, civilization itself, could fall into wars. But we're too far gone, Marcus. The entity has grown too powerful. Even the highest clarity don't know the full truth. Only a selective few of us who guard this room. Suddenly, Marcus felt something, a presence in the room. The shadows in the corners seemed to deepen, as if alive. A low growling whisper filled the air, though there were no voices. The manuscript in his hand began to tremble. We're not alone, Marcus gasped. Binacci's face twisted in fear. It knows. It's awake. The chamber grew colder, so cold that Marcus could see his breath. The walls seemed to pulse, and the twisted crucifix above the chest began to bleed, a thick black substance oozing from the figure's wounds. The whispering grew louder, more intense. Marcus tried to move, but his body felt frozen in place, as though an unseen force held him. Binacci's voice cracked with desperation. We have to leave now. But it was too late. The shadows merged into a form, a immense formless mass of darkness, eyes that glowed like burning coals emerging from the void. It towered over them, an ancient presence whose very existence defied reality. Its voice was a rumble that shook the walls. You have seen the truth. Marcus screamed, dropping the manuscript, but the words echoed inside his skull, inescapable. Binacci fell to his knees, chanting prayers in Latin, but the creature only laughed, a deep hollow sound that vibrated through their bones. Faith will feed me. Doubt will release me. The creature moved closer, its form shifting like smoke, enveloping Binacci. Marcus watched in horror as the Mosegnau's body conversed, his face contouring into a silent scream as his flesh began to wither, his eyes howling out until there was nothing left but a husk of dust. Marcus turned to run, but the door slammed shut, sealing him in. The creature loomed over him, its burning eyes locked onto his. Now you know, Father Marcus, and now you belong to me. As the darkness closed in, the last thing Marcus saw was the twisted crucifix, its eyes opening watching him with a hunger that had waited centuries. The Vatican would go on, its followers none the wiser, continue to offer their prayers, their faith, their very souls, to something far more ancient and far more terrifying than they could ever comprehend. And beneath it all, in the cold forgotten chamber, the entity would wait, growing stronger with every whispered prayer. Thank you for tuning into this eerie tale. Until next time, stay tuned for more spine-chilling stories. This was Sandra Pink.